the idea yeah. that they can play the race card. They can't play the race card. If Andrew Gillum was running against, he could play the race card because because Ron DeSantis said monkeying around, right? Yeah. Yo, it's racist. That's not racist. My my, my, my favorite book growing up was No More Monkeys Jumping on the Bed. Okay. <laughs> the word monkey doesn't offend me. I'm sorry. I, I, my mom used to call us little monkeys when we were kids. Like, I don't know. We're so offended. Everybody knows what monkeying around means. It has nothing to do with black people, okay? Yeah. So I think about how we win. Thank you. I don't have a monkey. I'm really sorry. Um, but I think about how we're going to win. We have to start engaging candidates um, that are in the minority community, that are charismatic. And this next speaker is such a perfect person to be here in Richmond, Virginia, because he's, he's run. Uh, and he's going to talk to you about some of the issues that are happening here. They're happening here in Virginia. He actually ran against Governor Ralph Northup. It's quite amazing, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, so he's the president of an organization called STAND. Please welcome to the stage, Bishop Jackson.
on fighting. Because I have to that we do things here that nobody else has ever done. Right. I know you all are looking at me as a speaker right now, and I've been a candidate for office, but I want you to see something different. I want you to ship it around to foster homes until 18 months old, and then stay in a foster home until I was 10 years old. I was a street kid, I was a gang member, I was a penny thief, I was doing all the wrong things. And then something wonderful happened in my life. My father failed in the fifth grade because I could barely go. I was busy hanging with my dad. And I almost failed out of fifth grade. I went from being an F student in fifth grade to being an A student in sixth grade. Wow. And folks, I have to tell you, it wasn't because of some liberal program. It wasn't because of some government program. It wasn't because of midnight basketball. It was because I had a you all to know that we got a fight on our hands, but we're going to win. Yes. We're going to win. Because we're on the right side of this thing. That's why we're going to win. We're going to win because our founding fathers, and in spite of all the, 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 the nasty things that are said about them, our founding fathers between us a nation unlike any that's ever existed on the face of the earth, when they... When they pen the majestic words, we hold these truths to be self-evident. That all men are created equal and endowed by our creator with certain inalienable rights. That among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That was a promise to every single one of us, regardless of color, even though everybody didn't understand that. You and I have inherited that promise, and that's what makes it possible for us to go to the heights to which our talents and gifts and abilities will take us. Owens is possible. That's why an E.W. Jackson is possible. That's why you can make something of your life because of the promise that our founding fathers bequeathed us and we're not going to let anyone take that away. We're going to make sure that the posterity that follows us is given a nation of freedom and hope and opportunity and the ability to fulfill their God-given dreams because this is our vision and we're not going to give it up for anybody.